Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very hard cataract. I thought of doing small incision cataract surgery for this case, but at the last moment, I decided to do fecal emulsification for this very hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 6. After the initial steps, the anterior capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye at this time. And now I am going to use adrenaline as well as phenocaine. Phenocaine contains lignocaine as well as tropicamide and phenylephrine. And now the dye is washed out and then the anterior chamber is filled off with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now capsulorexis is to be done. My plan is to do a large rexis. Size of the rexis should be about 6 mm. I have used this cystitome, this is a 26 case pain needle to raise a large capsular tag. Now I hold this capsular tag with the uterida forceps. Go anticlockwise all around and do a large rexis of about 6 mm. And now hydro dissection is to be done 27 case cannula and PSS is used to do the hydro dissection the nucleus is mobilized the nucleus rotates very nicely the antechamber is filled up again with 2% SPMC and now a side port is to be made on the left side of the main incision. This is the side port on the left side. And now, nucleus management. The most difficult part in this case. I expose the teeth of the fecal needle a little more about millimeter and now the fecal is introduced people down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now watch my technique the submarine job for this kind of very hard cataract where you can manage this case without making any groove without sculpting just go through the substance of the nucleus just a, a, a submarine goes through water reach near the opposite equator and use your chopper to divide the nucleus and now rotate it 180 degree and separate the two heminuclei completely and now each heminucleus is being divided into two large fragments the chopper that I am using is a very small chopper this is just a modified Sinsky hook it's a blunt chopper and it has been designed by me. The nucleus has been divided into four large fragments by this time. Each nuclear fragment is tilted and emulsification of each large fragment is started from its apex. See, the no nuclear fragment is moving here and there and it is not coming 
towards the corneal endothelium and it is not hitting the corneal endothelium at any moment. All the nuclear pieces are being managed within the capsular bag or at the iris plane or just below the iris plane. It never comes above the iris plane and thus the corneal endothelium is nicely protected even though I have used only hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. But if you have a tendency to come little upward, please use chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate and below this visco dispersive visco use any cohesive visco or even SPMC. And now watch the management of the last nuclear piece. It is rotated. Emulsification is started from its apex. Go through it. Divide it into two smaller pieces. Emulsify the piece which is above and a small piece remains below supporting the posterior capsule. Now I come to FACO3 mode where the vacuum is less. So far the vacuum was 450 and fluoride was 45. Now it is fluoride is 25 and vacuum is 250. Ultrasonic energy used throughout the surgery is 85 percent in continuous mode. Though it is in continuous mode, the ultrasonic energy was being used intermittently whenever it was necessary. The machine being used, the machine that has been used is Oatly Caterix 3 from Switzerland. This is a beautiful machine. You can carry the machine anywhere, wherever you go, you can carry this machine. And can do such hard cataracts and see the wound, the main wound. There is no wound burn. So this this machine is very good, particularly the clever design of the fecal needle is just awesome. I have no financial interest. I just want you to use a mid-range machine and could do good surgery. No point using about 60 lakhs and spend and give all your hard-earned money to the company. Instead use a mid-range machine, improve your surgical skills and do good surgery. In this case I selected a multi-piece intraocular lens because my plan was to do small incision cataract surgery with 7 millimeter incision. But at the last moment I decided to do fecal emulsification and I am using this lens. This is sensor multi-piece from about now at Johnson and Johnson. I'm enlarging the main wound to about 3.1 millimeter. Initially it was 2.8 millimeter. It has been used so that the cartridge goes easily into the capsular bag. Now I rotate the cartridge clockwise so that the haptic comes out and now I rotate it anti-clockwise so that the haptic doesn't hit the posterior capsule. And now I inject visco, use a Macpherson's forceps, hold the trailing haptic and place it in the capsular bag. So this has been a very satisfying surgery. The nucleus was so hard and it has been managed without 
sculpting without making any trench that is the nicest part of the surgery whenever we are using the ultrasound within the substance of the nucleus chances are that the nucleus substance will absorb most of the heat and it will not the ultrasonic energy will not travel towards the corneal endothelium and the corneal endothelium will remain very clear next day and that is what happens in my surgeries and now the viscoelastic substance that was used for implanting the intraocular lens is being removed nicely first I use used the Simco cannula and now at this moment I am using the bimanual irrigation aspiration probes. And now the irrigation and aspiration probes are being used together. And now is a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma once the side ports are closed this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and watch that how I form the anterior chamber the main wound doesn't need any hydration this is how I form the anterior chamber and now I check the wounds there is no leakage from any side thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills